Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Um, yes, I, I'm Dr. Saunders. It's a pleasure to meet you. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> um, <laughs> so nice to see you. I've been waiting for you, and, um, you are actually right on time. I, uh, <laughs> I was just, uh, I was just getting ready. And, um, welcome to my, uh, office. <laughs> All the ladies at the office know who you are, but I told them that it was inappropriate for them to, um, um, take you on as a patient because, um, uh, they have an attraction towards you, apparently. Or, oh, you're kind of the local celebrity. Um, anyway, could I get your full name? Mm-hmm. I mean, I already knew your first name, but, <laughs> but yeah, so you're going to full name. Okay. And then, um, your age, please. Really? Well, you, you don't look that old. No. Mm-mm. You really... Do you work out? Uh, and, um, like, you must take care of yourself. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. You must take good care of yourself. Okay. So, um, so I was getting, um, some of the information uh, from court, apparently, uh, because you are being sent to therapy, mandatory, uh, one day a week, but, uh, I might have you two days a week, depending on how this session goes. Um, and it is a mandatory, uh, therapy, uh, because, uh, if you, well, if you don't come to therapy, it looks like, well, it looks like you'll get a, a gel time or a fine and or both. And we don't want that, do we? No, I didn't think so. Um, and, and then, <clears throat> I'm having a little bit of confusion here on the specifics on what you got sent here for, and we need to know more details so we can, um, it looks like you have a, um, like a, a fixation, if you will, with, um, stuffed animals. Yeah. Is that right? Is that right? You have a... A fixation kind of like an addiction okay I find that interesting um, and, and um, enlighten me on this situation that actually got you into um, therapy because I've never actually seen someone with a, a, a fixation with stuffed animals that actually uh, got arrested. What happened? And, and I want you to know that you can trust me and that um, nothing that you say will go past these doors. And it's all between you and me, very confidential. Unless, of course, um, you know, it was illegal. And of course, I'm sure you understand, right? Okay. Sure. Feel free. Absolutely. Um, is there any, um, any history of mental illness with yourself or your family? Okay. Oh, okay, that's good to know. It's very important. Uh, all right. Now, um, please, I, I'm sorry I stopped you. Please go ahead and, um, get on with your, with your story. Tell me what happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Because they're just so soft and fluffy, and you like soft and fluffy things. 
anything that looks cuddly and something like you can hug is what you kind of go for. It's not necessarily stuffed animals. No. Okay. Okay. It is mostly stuffed animals. Or, um, fluffy. There's things that look fluffy. Could you give me a better example of what it might be of something that is fluffy? Okay, that's, that's good to know. Something that's fluffy for you. Um, and then what is it exactly that triggers you? Because apparently it looks like you were trying to steal a, um, a stuffed animal. Did you just not have money? No, you did have money. You were embarrassed. Okay, you were embarrassed. Why was that, honey? Why were you embarrassed? Oh. Because there was, um... Well, that's interesting. Because there was an altercation with a stuffed animal and, um, you spilled something on it, right? Is that what you're saying? You made a mess. Yeah. And you, en and you got embarrassed. But would you normally steal a stuffed animal? No, you just didn't want anybody to know what happened. Understand? Okay. Um, and now has this happened before? Multiple times. Okay. So when, when you see big fluffy things that are very cuddly, um, what are some of the things that you, you do to help yourself calm down? Because, um, I can... I can imagine that this is probably very triggering for you. What helps you calm down? Nothing. You just have to hug it and you have to cuddle it. Okay. Well, um, and then you, you, you just told me something there that, um, I found very interesting that I don't really want to repeat because, um, I don't know if you've really fully in, embraced um, this uh, this feeling, and and I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. I want you to feel like you can just open up to me completely, because I do believe there are some hidden emotions there, and um, I'm very happy to get down to the bottom of it. Um, now, can you tell me? <sighs> what? Hmm. When you were uh, a young whimper snapper, uh, what is the very first occasion that you can remember being um, around a, a one of these items that triggered you? Yes. You were surrounded by them in your bed. Okay. You were surrounded by them in your bed. And how did that make you feel? Okay. You felt loved and comforted and surrounded and all these wonderful feelings. And then what? The feeling overtook you and you had these urges that you couldn't control. Is that right? Or am I putting words in your mouth? No, not at all. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to go through a couple of ink blots, and I want you to tell me the very first thing that comes to your mind. Okay? All right. And what do you think of whenever you see this? Really? So, 
You must really have fluffy things on your mind all the time. Yeah. Soft, cuddly, and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Do you really like pillows as well? Pillows too? Fluffy pillows are your favorite? Oh, wow. There you go. Um, can you just tell me what it is that you see right here? Okay. Two pillows put together. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Mm hmm Well, thank you. I haven't gotten a compliment like that in a while. You're saying I look cuddly. <laughs> I wonder what it is about me that makes me seem cuddly. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> when you look at this ink blot, what is it that you see? Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Everything that you've come out and said pertains to do with items in a bedroom. <clears throat> Pardon me. I found that very interesting. Cuddly, comforting items that are in bedrooms. Does it? often make you sleepy to think of these things. No. Well, how does it make you feel, then, if it's not sleepy? Tingly. Interesting. Here. What is it that you see right here? Okay, and Mr. Wiggles? Who is Mr. Wiggles? He's your favorite, Stuffy. Okay. And tell me a little bit more about Mr. Wiggles. Why is he your favorite, Stuffy? Because <laughs> he holds you like a nice big... Like you're inside of a nice cocoon. That's, that's sweet, actually. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's look at this one. Sit and, let, and tell me what you think. <laughs> and what does that remind you of? Fuzz. Fuzz. Furry. Fuzz. Furry. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, mm -hmm. I want you to do me a favor and follow the light for me with your eyes. Good job. Just follow the light for me with your eyes. Don't focus on me. Or you could focus on me. Is there something about me that looks fluffy and cuddly? A little bit, maybe. You just focus on the light. And then I'm going to say some words. And you let me know on a scale of 1 to 10 how triggering it is for you so we can work on those triggers to avoid having these issues happen again in public places. Or do you prefer being triggered in public places? Is there something about a public place that does trigger you? Okay, you prefer quiet surroundings in safe places, like, say for this one, this place right here, would you, would you consider this a safe place? Yes. Is
is that triggering for you? A little bit, yeah. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10. How triggering is it that you are safe and comfortable and you see cuddly things that give you comfort? Hmm? Okay. Okay, then. Hmm. I'm going to try another test, and I want you to tell me how triggering it is. Hmm. Now, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. You just tell me, and I'll stop at any time. Okay. Are you ready? I'm going to call this Miss Mischief. Miss Mischief says hello. On a scale of 1 to 10, how triggering is Miss Mischief? Do you think you would get into trouble with her, or do you think she would give you lots of cuddles? Hmm. It's getting higher. Your triggers are getting higher. Okay. Whenever you feel triggered, what happens? Does your heart race? Yes, your heart races. Do you feel the blood flowing through you? Um, and in, uh, maybe goosebumps or any sensations or shivers or anything like that? Okay. And where do you feel those sensations? Hmm, okay. And when you do feel those sensations, is that when you get the uncontrollable urge? Yes. Okay. Well. And so, how close are you getting to having one of those uncontrollable urges. Very close. So if you are getting close to having one of those uncontrollable urges, Miss Mischief is right here. And 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 you can do whatever you want to, but you're not allowed to do it with Miss Mischief. That's right. This is how we're going to control your urges. Um, so, I just want you to think of all the fluffy, cuddly things you could do. And then on the count of ten, you can either tell me or show me exactly what you would do. Do you think you could do that for me? To get this out of your system? It must be very difficult to have such a serious problem. But I am a licensed professional. And I have no doubt if you see me, I want to say at least two or three times a week, that we can get all your urges completely taken care of, and you'll no longer have any more triggering issues that you can't control without my help. Does that sound like a plan? How are you feeling right now? Oh, well, would 
you like to try this little test with me? Miss Mischief is ready. Yeah, Miss Mischief. Miss Mischief. Oh, you're feeling the little tingles, aren't you? That's so cute. Okay. Um, when I get to one... Then we'll assess the situation. Are you ready? Well, you like it when I scratch Miss Mischief like that. Do you think Miss Mischief likes it when she's scratched? Okay. Just relax. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Incredibly tingly. How is that urge? You, is it uncontrollable? You just have to have the hugs and cuddles, don't you? Well, remember, we're not using Miss Mischief, we're using me. So, Come here. 